bow mounted spot lock trolling motor on the new Sea Eagle 437 paddle ski? Aloha, I'm Hawaiian Dan with SeaEagle.com and welcome to the Sea Eagle Boats YouTube channel. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button in the lower left hand corner and the notification bell to be notified of new video releases. To hear about the latest sales and new product releases, be sure to subscribe to our email list by clicking on the link in the video description below. This video is part one of a three part video series addressing the questions, how far can you go with the new Sea Eagle 437 paddle ski? Starting with rigging. If you recall from the previous paddle ski video, it took me just 15 minutes to get from car trunk to out on the water with a basic setup and minimal fishing gear. Now, if you missed that video, don't worry. I'll place a link to it either here or here at the end of this video. But in this video, I'm gonna show you just how far one can go in reference to rigging. It's called being rigged to the nines. As a matter of fact, the only thing that really limits your rigging ability is one's personal preference and bold imagination. In short, if you can conceive it, you can pretty much achieve it within the limitations of the watercraft, of course. As you can see in this video, I rigged my paddle ski for a bow mounted spot lock trolling motor by sliding a board through the bow handle and attaching it to the bow yoke with a single bolt, washer, and threaded knob. This created a nice stable frame for mounting a trolling motor quick release bracket. From there, I added a Scotty Universal deck mount to each end of the bow support yoke so I could attach a vast array of Scotty accessories. Then I attached Scotty custom camera booms for GoPros and a Scotty triple rod holder to one of the rear Scotty Universal pads for my sounder, transducer, and Scotty rod holder. On the opposite side, another Scotty triple rod holder and not one, but two Scotty rod holders and a Scotty anchor lock. Next came the Sea Eagle Easy Cart Heavy Duty, then the Honda 5 horsepower 4 stroke outboard with internal built in 1.5 liter gas tank topped off, an external 3 gallon gas tank, Minn Kota power center, taco bag, fishing rods, connecting the electronics, assembling and loading the paddles, downing the proper fishing tire, and off we go. Now this entire setup added just 5 minutes to my total setup time, making it 20 minutes total and if you like this setup stick around to the end of this video because I've added a bonus alternative rigging setup. In this session you'll note that I decided to take the Easy Cart HD with me instead of leaving it behind and it didn't take long before I found fish. Wow that was great guys look at that nice fat striper guy. Woo! The target species is tog, but as the old saying goes, you never leave fish to find fish and the birds often show us the way. This is one of the most epic fall striped bass sessions ever and we had them all to ourselves. As you can see, the new Sea Eagle paddle ski is incredibly stable for standing and standing provides sight, casting and fish fighting advantages. Speed and the ability to cover ground quickly is also needed because a blitz like this doesn't last long and you need to get to it quickly while it's firing and move with the blitz. With the Honda 5 horsepower 4 stroke outboard, the new Seagull paddle ski can travel at speeds up to 16 miles per hour solo and with two people or the way I have it rigged up and loaded in this video, an impressive 14 miles per hour. In the next video, we're going to run and track our course. First using only the 1.5 liter internal built-in gas tank and running it till empty before switching over to the 3 gallon external gas tank just to see how much ground and distance we can actually cover as well as electric motors and stand up and sit down paddling comparison. So until next time, I hope you enjoyed this video of how far you can go with rigging the new Sea Eagle 437 paddle ski and as you have seen, the sky is not the limit. Remember to subscribe to our email list to hear about new products and video releases as well as special sales and discounts. I'll post a link to the email subscription in the video description below. Now if you find this video helpful and would like to see others like it, subscribe to the Sea Eagle Boats YouTube channel by clicking on the link in the lower left hand corner. Hit the notification bell and thumbs up button as well and remember to share this with your family and friends. Post your comments and questions in the section below and I'll post links to the paddle ski and optional accessories mentioned in this video in the video description below, as well as a timestamp table of contents so you can jump from one section of this video to another. Until next time, I'm Hawaiian Dan with SeaEagle.com and I'll see you out on the water. Aloha. Alternative rigging setup, bonus footage. In place of the bow aluminum board, I use a section of aluminum yoke bar. One end is slid under the front spray skirt and the other end is attached to the bow yoke with a single bolt, washer and threaded knob. 
I've attached universal Scotty deck mounts to the bar and also to each end of the bow yoke. Now I have the ability to attach a vast array of Scotty accessories.